Yeah, let's go to the beach. I don't know what the 
this Spanish. I have drugs in this. It's I just like medication. <laughs> I have medication in here, or like a headache, or nausea, or whatever. Sometimes I get car sick, so. Um, <laughs> I'm filming and driving right now. I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. And then I, <laughs> I can't do this. I'm also holding up my tripod with my toes right now, so hopefully this doesn't fall over. Did I show my sunglasses? I should wear them. Yeah, you didn't say what they were, the price of Chanel. I don't need to say that. And then I have uh, some gum. It is the Spark Stride. This is kinetic fruit and it basically tastes like orange, um, creamsicle. not creamsicle, uh, sour patch kids, so it's very delicious gum. <laughs> I have a running commentary doing this. <laughs> I, know. I know you want me to shut up. No. Like... You can't help it. I also have my Sephora little brush for after the beach, just in case I need to comb through my rat's nest. Then I have a bag inside my bag. My Lady Gaga tote, it says, I'm a free bitch on it. And I just have a change of clothes uh, after. And then I have all my like um, electronic equipment. So in my bag, inside my bag, I have my iPod Touch, and then I have my e-reader. It's a Kobo, and currently I'm reading Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm about halfway through, and I'm not sure how I feel about this book yet. I also have uh, my digital camera, and my cell phone which is just a uh, Blackberry torch. And then I have that inside this bag, so bag inside a bag inside a bag. Uh, and it just has uh, money and my uh, credit cards. I also packed a towel inside here. It's my Ariel beach towel from Little Mermaid, I love it. I got it at the Disney store couple years ago or last year. I also have just a small cosmetic bag from Forever 21. It's gold and sparkly. And inside is just everything I'm wearing today. Plus a few little extras. I have uh, just some eye drops because my eyes get really dry. I wear contact lenses. And then I have some hand sanitizer. This is from Bath and Body Works and it's the Winter Candy Apple. I really love the smell of this so I got a bunch of these little sanitizers uh, back in the winter. I have two lip products. I have the L'Oreal Colorish uh, Balm uh, Lip Butter Lipstick. It's just a light pink shade with an SPF of 15. And then I have the Maybelline Baby Lips. It has an SPF of 20 and it's in Peach Kiss. And that's what I currently have on my lips now. On my face, I just added a little bit of uh, bronzer. And then I brought my MAC uh, 182 Kabuki brush uh, to put it on if I needed some more. And it's my Dior Matte Bronzer and it has an SPF of 20. So it's waterproof, has SPF, so it's perfect uh, for bringing to the beach. For concealer, I'm just using my uh, Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. I also have on my face uh, the Garnier Skin Renew uh, BB Cream mixed with my Revision IntelliShade SPF 45 uh, Tinted Moisturizer. Just an eyebrow pencil from MAC. It's an in spike just in case I lose my brows in the beach water. And then I have Urban Decay's 24-7 Eye Pencil in Zero. And uh, my CoverGirl Lash Perfection Mascara. Try and keep it minimal at the beach because I will be swimming. Uh, I might not necessarily submerge my head in water though, but just so that I'm not caked with makeup and it starts melting off. So. That is 
all that's in my beach bag. It's like a monkey face or something creepy. I like water. Thank you. I was gonna put ice on you as a surprise. It's funny, I was gonna put like a bottle of ice on you. A bottle, oh my goodness. Charm. How do you? Okay. I pack us delicious snacks. Water is very nice today. I think we need an umbrella. Extremely busy at the beach. This is Canada Day at Grand Bend. I'm vlogging. No. Yeah. I don't have a vlog. A vlog with a V. I don't video log. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to say at the beach on this fine day? Oh, how I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's like scripted. <laughs> I never told him to say that, I swear. <laughs> Quite warm out. But yeah. Cheryl? Yes. Mm. Bye. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Are you burning? I am burning. <laughs> I close up of your face. <laughs> Can you not do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. We are eating at Cheryl's. Cheryl is. Unfortunately, it's not exactly my name. Delicious turkey burger in the mouth. Say that on video. Huh? Say that on video. In my mouth. Going here. We are currently shopping. Our predicament is we went to this shady guy for parking, gave him $20. And our car got blocked in. So now, we don't know what we're gonna do. Um, hopefully the people next door can move their car so we can just pull out instead of backing out. Cause there is a tree here and a bunch of cars. Not too impressed to say the least. I think Charles is knocking on the door. He probably won't be home. He's smiling, which is good. Always positive, while I am pretty much in a rage. Yeah. I opened up the storm door and there's like beer bottles sitting there. I'm like, oh. So they're probably like passed out or something. No, like just the storm door. There's a regular door and then there's a storm door. And oh. Between that, so it's like they just stuffed the bottles there. Like because they were sitting on the. Yeah. Are those guys blocked in too? No. They've got to be. 
Okay. So, luckily that uh, Kia belonged to the neighbors and uh, they were nice enough to move it, but they're moving the car back and they're not letting anyone else out. They're like, if you're stupid enough to pay that guy and park here, then you should be blocked in and all this, but they're like, we'll move for you because you're nice. So, luckily we got there when we did and decided to leave, but very, very upset with being swindled like that. But um, I guess that's what you get for giving money to some random with a random parking sign and go here. So learn your lesson in Grand Bend and don't go to that shady house down by the beach and park on their lawn because he... It's like 49 Lakeside or something like that. 49, 49 Lakeside, anyway. Grand Bend, never go there. That guy is a... Quote unquote dirt bag from what the yes, neighbor it... said. Neighbor said dirt bag, so never ever go there. Our GPS is so stupid, it's taking us in a circle when we're supposed to be going straight. Turn right. We're not gonna follow that. I hate when cars, they put on their signal and then they don't remember to turn it off. And this truck keeps doing eventual lefts and eventual rights. We shall see. are doing an eventual right. Well, oh, that's making me nauseous. True test of that Dior bronzer, it's basically the only thing left on my face. Uh, it is waterproof and clearly that's all that survived. Oh, look at that man. Ew, humping move! Stop. She's not like touching it though, she's just looking at it. Mm, she was like pouncing, so I'm gonna go find out what it is. She, it, used to. she wants to like play with it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, let's get I don't it. want to let Bella out though. What is it? It's alive? Is it like hurt? It's hurt? No. Kira, no. 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 You okay, birdie? It must have fell from the tree. Uh, maybe. Brother. You okay? Bella. Uh, you stay away. You be nice. I uh, should move it to the other side of the fence. But if we touch it, it won't, like the mom, like. Well, I'll also someone get like a shovel or a piece of cardboard or something. It's kind of small for a robin, so I guess it's, I don't know, maybe too small to fly stuff yet. So apparently, we have more nature problems in our backyard. We just got home and there is like a baby bird that's on the ground. I don't know if it's hurt or not or if it like fell from its nest. So we're gonna try and move it out of our backyard because our dogs need to go outside and uh, we don't want them attacking the bird. Bella was okay but Hira like wants to play with it so <laughs> we really need to move it because that's pretty traumatic when this big black dog is like bounding at you. Oh, I could help them or I could just watch. <laughs> I'm gonna watch him struggle. We have cardboard. Oh, 
I want to find the nest. Are you going to be able to climb up on the stuff or what? Come on. Climb on up. Climb on up. That's the birds have, you know, feet on their toes on the back too. It's like, don't move me. Forward. I got two or something. Oh, um. Oh, there we go. Climb on up. Right. Like, what the hell are you doing? Get off my ass. Ew. Ugh. I'm oh, just gonna. Do this I'm just gonna poo me. again. You're gonna make me poo again. Basically. See, it's trying to fly. <laughs> like you scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's touching. You should get like a. All right. Stop being difficult. The mom is not liking this. Well, take <laughs> your baby away, damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Mom is losing a shit every time the bird there, squeaks. Yay! You got your bird back. <laughs>